Greetings! Welcome back to Pink Godford. Today I'm here to share this little fun project that I made with you, so let's go ahead and get started. So what I have made are these really fun little journaling spots. I have I was trying to think of something fun to come up with for um, different different kind of like ephemera writing spots to add to a journal, and I was inspired by my buddy Priscilla who made some really cool. Um, laminated acetate colorful thingies <laughs> and so I thought that I would take a riff off of that and spin it into making something my own that's the way the old inspiration works isn't it so what I came up with are these kind of like journaling cards and they can be used as journaling cards or you can turn them into pockets it just depends on how you want to use them. So I thought that I would show you guys how I made these. So basically what they are is just like collaged on the front with scrapbook paper. And then on the back, it has a little notch. So you know how to open it. And then you can do your journaling inside, which would be really fun because when the acetate is over it, you can see that writing, you know, underneath the acetate with all of the fun coloring that we've done. So I did some in that style and then I also did some where they flip open this way. So I thought that I would come and share these with you guys because I think these are really fun little elements and I hope that you'll give them a try. But even if you don't, then I hope you'll enjoy hanging out with me here while I make some. So why don't we just go ahead and dive in. So I'll set these aside. Some of the supplies that you will need if you do want to make these is obviously acetate, a paper punch of some sort, some sort of um, sprays, alcohol inks. I am going to be using this gold leafing pen. If you don't have one of these, you might be able to use like a, um, a metallic pen of some sort. Scissors probably. Um, I am going to be using my 1 8 double sided tape and I also have a little, I had an idea, so I brought out my little sequins, so I'm going to see how this turns out on these that I get ready to do. I also have my little ephemera packet here so that we can decorate the front. And then, as you saw, we had a little collage going on here, and you can just use your scraps for this collage. So I have scraps at the ready, and I feel like I'm forgetting something scrapbook paper and I think that's really it I also grabbed my distress ink this time because I didn't distress these but you can distress them if you want to so I'm gonna try that out on these as well so I think that is it so if I have forgotten anything we will just uh, get to it when we get to it so I'm gonna move all this stuff aside and then we will start out with the first step so this is just some regular acetate and I picked this up on Amazon. I can link it below for you if you are interested in having some of this and don't have some on hand already. So I'm going to take a sheet out and now the first thing that I'm going to do is take my alcohol inks. If you don't have alcohol inks, you can probably use, um, I would say like permanent markers. And you can decorate, you can draw, you can scribble, you can do whatever kind of designs you want to do on the acetate because that's going to dry permanently just like these acetate, um, just like these alcohol inks. So I only got these colors, so this is really what I'm going to be working with. So I'm just going to start by taking some of these and placing them randomly on the acetate. And then the way that I did this was I just kind of take a piece of it and then fold it over and smash it onto the other side and then I'll take it this way and fold it smash it drag it a little bit so that this, the color kind of spreads out into different areas like that and I'm just gonna kind of do this until it starts drying up it does eventually dry and you won't be able to move it anymore so while it's wet, I'm just going to take the advantage of um, trying to spread the color out. And you don't have to get like solid colors um, because we have more, well, I have more than one color to use here. 
and also you want to still be able to kind of see through because I think that's part of what makes it so such a fun little project because when you write under it you'll be able to see you know that writing underneath the alcohol ink so just gonna spread out a little bit more and as you can see it's already starting to dry got a white piece of paper here so I can show you what it looks like so far. Wow, that's a big difference, right? That's so vibrant. All right, so now let's take another color. I've got this kind of like a bluish turquoise green color and you can do just one color if you want to. I'm gonna take a little bit less of this because you know the darker colors they do tend to, ooh, Get on your fingers and now I'm gonna have green fingers for the rest of this video which is cool um, so <laughs> um, they tend to you know go a longer way because they're bold colors okay so spread in spread in spread in now actually we'll turn it this way spread it out So, and if I want some more of that, I can always easily just go in and add just a couple drops here and there maybe. And because the alcohol ink, it dries very quickly, um, the pink underneath isn't going to bleed and it's not going to like make a new color arise. If that makes sense, it's just going to kind of layer itself on top of what's already there. Trying to drag it a little to see what other different textures we can get out of out of this also okay so there we go and I think I'm okay with this for now so let's see how it looks very nice so vibrant and then the last color I have is, is this kind of yellow and I'm just going since it's a lighter color I want to drop it in some of the areas where I haven't really gotten much color, so kind of like the outer edges for sure. And then we will take it to the house, just like this. if the previous colors haven't dried yet it, they will bleed in but I'm not mad at what I'm seeing here it looks really good so I'm just gonna keep going and I think this is it yeah so that looks really 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 good to me so I'm gonna let this dry and then we will come back and move on to the next step. So now that this is pretty much dry, I have taken just a piece of regular 12 by 12 scrapbook paper and I just chose this one because I thought it was kind of cool because the way it looks kind of like it's been, you know, dropped and splotched on much like the acetate that we just decorated. So now I am going to layer this anywhere on my page and I'm going to make sure whatever scrapbook paper you're using you have enough space to cut out the size of whatever your acetate is so mine is eight and a half by eleven so I'm going to take my scrapbook paper and cut it down to size I think, I think this should be good. So I'm just gonna make sure it matches up. And it does. So the next step, now that I know that I have a piece that matches my acetate size, and I know that this is eight and a half by 11, so I'm gonna cut four 
um, cards out of this. So on the eight and a half side, I'm going to cut them down to four and a quarter. And I've just layered the acetate on top of the scrapbook paper so it cuts both at the same time evenly. And I'm going to cut the 11 inch side down to five and a half. All right. And there's two. So now that I have my four cards, the next thing that I'm going to do is trim down some of the excess because I can see here there's a little bit more than there should be. You can clip these to make sure they don't move if you want to make sure you're extra precise, but I'm just going to freestyle. Okay, this one looks good. This one looks good. And this one needs a little trim. Like so. All right. Now that this step is done, we are going to take our pieces and you want to make sure that you do, you know, you can kind of feel the alcohol ink on the actual page or on the acetate. So just remember that that's the piece or the side that you want facing down on the, the paper. So the next thing that I'm going to do is just take some of my sprays and give these um, blank sides here. Well, I'm going to find a spray that works. I'll just take the blue one and give them a little spritz just like that. I don't want to overdo it, but I do want to make sure that um, whatever you write on here will still be seen. So that's why I don't want to put too much of the spray because then, you know, you won't be able to actually use them as journaling cards. So I'm going to spritz down the other two quickly and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, now that that is done, we can go ahead and I did want the corners on these to be rounded. Ah, that's the other tool I forgot about. <laughs> the corner rounder. So with a corner rounder, I am going to use the half an inch size. So you can use whichever one you prefer. And again, I'm just doing these together at the same time. So it's, um, it's actually rounding the corners of the, the acetate and the paper at the same time. Or you can leave them square if you want. That's fine too. Okay, so the next step is where our tape comes in. But before that, I want to just get some of this little sequins here. The sun and the moon for these. And this step is op optional. Uh, you don't have to do this because as you can see, it still looks really good, but I kind of had the idea after the fact and I was like, oh, I wanna try that next time. <laughs> so I'm just going to take a few of these. Okay, so as you can see, I have a good little mixture here of suns and moons in different colors, silver, gold, and purple, and black. So if you have tweezers, you can use them for this part, but I don't for crafting. Um, 
So if your paper has like some kind of directional thing on it, this is where you want to definitely take note of that. So the first thing I'm going to do here on the first one is I'm going to take my distress ink and get the distressing out of the way. And then I'm going to take my double-sided tape run a strip along the edge. And since this is one eighth, you can use just one piece, but I'm going to use two. So it basically will become like a quarter inch piece. And then I'm going to take my bone folder, wherever that may be now, cause I just saw it, literally just saw it. And now it's missing. Ugh. I'm sure you want to know where it was buried under the packet of sequin. Sequins. <laughs> so I'm going to take the bone folder and burnish it down, peel up these little strips, and then I'm going to take, this was the secondary idea that I had. So I'm going to place these little sequined confetti things right on the edge of the secondary, so the most inner strip of sequins or of tape strip that we put down. Just like so. And then I'm going to lightly burnish them to make sure they stay down. And then since we are doing this, we will need to take one more strip of tape and go on top of those confetti pieces uh, because we want the acetate to really be able to stick. To those areas where we place the confetti down. Okay. And now that we have done that, take the strip of tape off again. And then again, you want to make sure that you feel like the smooth side is where your, uh, where your um, alcohol ink is not. And then just line it up and then press it down to make sure everything sticks all together. Oh man, I love the way this looks already. <laughs> Look, and then you can see the little glistening of the uh, sequin under. So pretty. So cool. And then the next step that we do is take our punch. And I just use like pieces of the same paper that we used for the, for the front cover. And I'm using the star punch. So we'll take it here. I'm going to punch out two and then what I will do next is we are going to take our double sided tape and then on this little star because you don't want the piece because the reason why I actually even add this piece is so that it's easier for you to um, so you don't have to fiddle like this with separating the acetate. When you have this, you just, boom, it opens. So that's the objective of this little piece. So I'm going to take this little star and like I said, I don't want too much of it hanging off the side of the journal card. So I'm gonna take the first piece of tape right just about across where the two points are up here. And then I'm going to add another piece below that so that we make sure all pieces of this get stuck down. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other piece of the star that we punched out. So there's one and two. And 
and burnish to make sure it stays and then peel off the tape stuff and then it doesn't really matter where you put this you can put it anywhere on your um, page so I'm going to lift the acetate because we want to make sure that we'll be able to see where we're lining up the second piece so we want to put the inside piece down first so I'm going to line it up where that tape is you can see where I put it where I'm lining up the acetate so boom put it down and then burnish and then I, then I can easily remove this tape and I can line this up easily with the outline with the outline of the star that we just put down so you know that it's going to match up and very nicely and evenly there we go um, no actually I'm going to leave it like this because the moon actually has direction to it but I think it looks so cool with the sequins in there now like compared to how it looked before well there's a lot more pink on these ones also but Okay, so then the final step that I did on these was I took the little gold pen and I wanted this to be very like not perfect. So you see how I did this? I wanted it to look like choppy kind of, not a perfect streamline border. That isn't what I wanted, but if that's what you want to do, that's totally fine. So I'm going to just take this and roughly run it across the edge. Like so. So you can see that adds a whole nother layer to it. And I think I actually did this last, last time after I did the collage, but that's okay. So then I just do the same thing on the little star just to keep it consistent. So we do a little outline there and then on the inside of the star. We'll do a little outline there. Okay. So there's the inside, the outside, and then there's our perimeter here. Now, I, I don't know why I said the last thing because it's not actually the last thing. Um, this, well, maybe this was the last thing that I did the first time, but we I did the collage the first time, last time. So let's do the little collage on the front. It's very simple. I'm going to just grab a couple of pieces of scrap paper so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tear. Alright, so here is how I would like it to look. So I'm going to start gluing these pieces down. And then the topping, the sherry on the cake, some kind of embellishment. And if you don't have emb embellishments and stuff like this, what you can also do is you can use your stamps and then you can color these pieces and fussy cut them. And then those can also be your focal points.
is always the hard part. <laughs> and then I also picked this flower that I would like to layer on here as well. And I am going to just use my Aileen's Tacky Glue for this piece. You can use the tape if you prefer. All right. And voila. Uh, you could also use some of the word snippets here. I think those would look really nice. Um, I just didn't grab those. Um, at this point in time and maybe I'll add some later. That's the fun thing about that is you can always go back and do it later But this is a finished journaling card. So Really fun and easy they can be tailored to all different themes and Then like I said you have your writing in here all the good stuff so All right, so what we do I'm gonna see if I can do this in the right order <laughs> I guess there's no real right order, but in the order that I want to do it in, which was the order that I did it in last time. burnish and what I forgot was I took a little bit of glue well let me remove the sticker backing here on the tip of the star I put a little dab of glue so that the tips of the star will stay um, closed together so now that we have done that side you can see where your star is and if you can't see you can put something behind it so that you'll be able to see it more clearly something dark I guess um, and then you just line it up with the previous star that we placed on the inside and now <laughs> see how the the tips will stick together and I can go back and add glue on the other one that's not not a big deal it's not a problem at all so these are two that we have made really cool pieces and like I said you can decorate these they're tailored really to fit with any style you can match any colors you want these look really like galaxy kind of because of all the pink in there but like I said even these you can see I did a little bit lighter on the um, alcohol ink and so you can see the spring that I did underneath these a little bit better but you can still see it on this one. So you can see like all the dot trail here and you can see all the little spattering underneath the acetate. So I really hope that you guys like these and I hope that you will give them a try. I love them so much and um, I think they're really fun and something kind of different to add to your books. And I will finish up these two. And um, yeah, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider leaving it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe so you don't miss more content like this and other things that I post here on my channel. So I think that is going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into. And until next time, toodaloo.